become something of a ritual. Israeli soldiers face off with Palestinians protesting the construction of the so-called security barrier around their village of Belaim. These confrontations take place every Friday and almost always deteriorate into violence. After more than five years of conflict, this is about all the contact, if you can call it that, the two sides have anymore in this remote corner of the West Bank. It's an elemental struggle for land. You're thieves, shouts this man in Hebrew to the soldiers. Few Palestinians are still interested in the finer points of Israeli politics or the Israeli elections. They have more fundamental concerns. For Waji Hashem, it's all about making a living, which he says he can't do anymore because the land he used to graze his sheep on is on the other side of the barrier. Before collapsing, he told me for him, all Israeli politicians are the same. The smarter ones, the tough guys, are the ones who can put a knife to my neck faster, he says. Among the demonstrators here, there's little that distinguishes Israeli parties. For us, the Likud, Labour or Kadima are all just competing to see who can oppress the Palestinians more, local leader Abdullah Abu Rahme tells me. It won't make any difference at all for us, says protester Ratib. What matters to us is to see this wall demolished. But Israeli officials say the so-called security barrier is designed to keep suicide bombers out of Israel. And they warn, it's here to stay. And regardless of who wins in Israel's elections, the barriers that divide Palestinians and Israelis seem bound to only grow higher. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, outside Belaim on the West Bank.